Well, I think that in 10 years, I will be writing for sure. It's, uh, I mean, I've, I've had many uh, professions and occupations in my life, and writing is, uh, by no comparison, the best job you can have. I mean, I, I wake up in the morning, uh, and the uh, first thing I do is I, I stay there in bed for like one hour, just thinking and uh, making up stories. When I was around, you know, 14, 15, um, I was sure I'd, I didn't have to make plans for my future because I, I would for sure become a professional player with, with Tottenham. But uh, then I broke uh, my ligaments in uh, both knees when I was 19, so I had to uh, come up with uh, something else. But uh, yeah, I was. And strange thing is that uh, in my little hometown of uh, Molde, uh, now that they know me as a writer, uh, I can notice that for each year that's passing, they they remember me as a better and a better player. So nowadays I'm I'm like the you know the lost talent. I'm the Maradona that could have been. You know, so that uh, that's nice. I was okay though, but I wasn't I wasn't Maradona exactly. When I was uh, 14, 15, all my friends, they played in uh, bands. Uh, so they would have me write the lyrics for their songs. But um, after I learned playing the guitar, I started my own band. One night playing at the club, uh, a couple of uh, uh, record companies would show up uh, because they had heard rumors uh, that we had great songs. And uh, so after the concert, they came up and uh, suddenly we, we, had, uh, we were offered two deals, you know, at the same night. So that was uh, pretty nice. So uh, after that, we, we started recording and uh, we played together and recorded for, uh, you know, around 10 years. Um, now we, we don't want to record anymore. Uh, I'm a writer, the other guys have, uh, are doing other things. Most writers, they write because they read. Uh, like a musician, uh, uh, his or her music is uh, almost always uh, uh, based on what they have listened to. And I've read uh, not that much crime fiction. I think probably uh, the playwright Henrik Ibsen is one of my most important uh, inspirations. But um, if I had to mention one crime writer, um, it would probably be the American Jim Thompson who wrote in the 50s and, and 60s. Kind of old-fashioned uh, crime stories, but uh, they're really hard-boiled, uh, they're very dark, and uh, he wrote about uh, psychopaths from a first-person's point of view, which is quite scary. I feel so lucky, you know, uh, being able to, to, to make a living as a writer, that that was my first aim, you know, to, to, to be able to do it full time. My problem is I haven't developed. I'm still writing crime stories. And I, I sort of uh, decided that that's my home. I, I, I love crime stories. I l love to write about Harry and uh, also write the uh, stand loans. And I can't see, you know, the, the Nobel Prize Committee uh, giving a Nobel Prize to, uh, to a crime story. Then again, perhaps they will. <laughs>